Hi guys, this is Andrew and welcome to the next episode on AF Swift Tutorials. In this video we'll be talking about scripting and especially scripting in Xcode and in Swift. So first, what is script? Script is a program or sequence of instructions that is interpreted and executed by another program. In Xcode, scripts can be used to automate various tasks and enhance the development workflow. Xcode supports different types of scripts. You can run shell script, Apple script, Python, and in other scripts, also the ones written in Swift. In this video, I will show you a couple of scripts. First, we'll create a simple Swift script, compile it and run it in terminal. Then we will switch to the Xcode and create a scripts using build phases and run it from the project. So let's get it started. First, let's open the terminal and create a simple Swift file. And now let's locate the file on the desktop and open it with the Xcode. And here we have our script. We import foundation, add an add main attribute to mark that our class has the entry point. And static func main is going to be our entry point the compiler is going to be looking for to execute our script. And inside we have a simple print statement hello terminal. Also, don't forget to save the file, command S. All right, so now we have the file, we've saved it. And in order to run it, First, we need to compile it. In order to compile the file, let's get back to terminal and invoke Swift compiler command. So here is the command Swift C. We invoke Swift compiler, also adding a flag parse as a library, add name of our file test.swift and add the output test script and hit enter. So we've compiled our file, so now we could locate it over here. This is executable, which we could run in the terminal. So let's open terminal again and hit enter. As you can see in terminal, we'll get in the message hello terminal. All right, so now we have a terminal script, it works correctly. So now let's switch to the Xcode project and start work from there. Here we have a simple Swift UI Hello World application, but we won't be using any Swift UI code because we need that project solely for scripting. First, let's create on the root scripts folder. And inside of the folder, we're gonna create a very simple script, Hello Xcode, but now we're gonna be running it from Xcode. So let's create the file. So here we have a script. So how do we run it? In order to run the script, we need to invoke the shell command. The similar we've invoked inside of the terminal. We need to go to the project, open build phases, hit plus and select new run script phase. Also, we can rename it. We have hello Xcode script. So let's just double click and rename it. Here we have shell, which is fine. And beneath it, we have a lines where we write a shell script. So this is the command. We also specify a flag for macOS. Other than that, it's identical as we have in terminal. And now we specify the path to our script. And also the output. All right, so now our build phase is ready. So let's try to run it. Hit command B and our script fails. So why it fails? It shows the main attribute can only apply to one time in a module. What does it mean? We've added main attribute to our script. Our Swift UI project also have add main attribute. So it collides because compiler doesn't know where is exactly the entry point of our application. 
we need to go to target inspector target membership and turn off our script membership for our project and now hit command b to build the project okay so we have another problem let's get back to okay so i mistype it all right so now our scripts run successfully let's go to the reporter navigator select the latest build and here we have hello xcode but here we have a warning running script build phase hello xcode script will be run during every build let's get back to the project and here we have checked based on dependency analysis we need to turn it off because we need to run the script every time we do build so now let's try to build it again it built successfully let's go to the reporter and now we have everything in green all right so now it's fine with hello xcode let's write another script logger to get some data from environment let's create new swift file call it logger and now we need to uncheck the target script tutorials and hit create All right, so here we have our logger. We're adding from our environment variables, product name and current configuration. We have unchecked the membership, which is very important for scripts. So let's create a build phase for our script. All right, so here it looks okay. So now let's create a build phase for our script. All right, so here we have run script build phase, but this time we will do things a little bit differently. So let's start typing our command. So now we need the name of our files. So let's add our file to the input files instead of typing it by hand. And now inside of the shell, we can use our script file as dollar script input file is zero. And Xcode will read our Swift logger file automatically using this name. But also we need to add output. Also we need to uncheck base on dependency analysis. Let's try running our code. Build succeeds. Let's go to the reporter, open latest build. And here we have the output, project name, script, tutorial, and current config is debug. So our logger script works correctly. So the last script I want to show you in this video, this is connected to a project file. If you go to general tab, you see the build number. And usually we change this build number by hand when bumping up the version and adding new code. But what if we could automate this thing? So let's go to schemes and hit edit scheme. And in this project, I will do that for every build. So just open build and select post actions. Here you want to hit plus and add new run script action. Also here we need to select our target. It's pretty simple because AGV tool is a part of Xcode command line tools. So now we could close the editor and try to build our app. Hit command B. Our project file closes, but let's reopen it. And here you have build two. If you build it one more time, you will get three and so on. All right. So this is it, that was scripting in Swift, if you find it interesting or useful, give it a like, consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't done it yet, and I will see you next episode. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.